My name is Nicole Albertson, and I'm an Extender Product Specialist with E1 Solutions. Thank you for joining us as we take a look at how to add a field from an extender window with one key to a report writer report. So let's take a look at how we can add our extender field to a report writer report. The first thing I want to do is just show you our extender window, and I have created one on the customer maintenance window. So if I pull up a record here, I will show you the billing contacts window is what I've created. Basically it's just going to track based on our customer number the contact information for a billing contact. Um, so right now we're going to be using the contact name and the phone number and what we're going to do is add those to our customer list report. So let me show you the report we want to add them to. I'm just going to run the customer setup report. And if I print that, you can actually see that I have already added the billing contact and what I need to do now is pull in that billing phone number from my extender window. So to do that, we need to go into Report Writer and modify this report to pull in that extender field. So I'm going to click Modify. And once in Report Writer here, we actually need to create a new calculated field to pull in that extender data. So in our toolbox, I'm going to switch to Calculated Fields. And then you can see I already have the billing contact here. We're going to create a new one for our billing phone number. So I'm just going to give it a name of Billing Phone. You can call this whatever you want. That's the name we'll see in our toolbox. The result type when adding a extender field to Report Writer is always going to be String. And then the first thing you actually need to do is find the function rw table header string. So to do this, I go to functions. I'm going to click user defined. And in the core, I'm going to pick system from the list. And then in the function list, find that rw table header string. So there it is. Once you've found it, just click add and it will actually start creating your calculated expression for you. After we've added that function, we need to add a constant of the dictionary ID for extender. So I'm going to go to constants, make sure it says integer here, and I'm going to type in 3107, which is the extender dictionary ID, and click add. The next thing we need to do is add the name of our extender window that we want to pull this data from. So to do that, I'm going to change the type here from integer to string. And then I'm going to type in the name of the extender window that we are pulling from. And in this case, it's just called sales underscore contact. So I'm adding that. The next thing we need to do after adding our window is add the key field for that window. So this just has one key field on it. So I'm going to go to fields. And then it's not a report field. It's actually a field coming from the RM customer master. And in that, then I need to find that customer number field, which is our key, and add that. Once we have the key field on there, because that key field is a string, at this point we need to just add an integer of a zero. So I switch back to constants, and it will default to zero, so you can just click add. And the last thing we need to do is add an integer of the field ID on that window. So is it field 1 on your window, field 2, field 3, just adding where it's located on your window. Our phone number is actually field 2 on the window, so I'm going to click add, and that will add in. We're done with our calculated expression, so you can see it's built it with the RW table header string, our dictionary ID, our window ID, our key fields, a 0, and then our field position. So I'm going to say OK here. And now we have our new calculated field that I'm ready to drag on to my report writer report. So I'm just going to move the report over a little bit so I can drag it where it needs to go and put it right there. Once I have it on there, I can click Save and go back to Microsoft Dynamics GP. And now that we are in, we can try printing our report again. So 
I'm going to go back to the sales setup, insert our billing contacts again, and hit print. And now you can see I've pulled in that phone number from my extender window. So a couple things to note when adding an extender field with one from a window with one key on it is that extender fields can only be added from windows, they can't be added from forms, and that you can't add the detail portion of a window. So if I look in extender, and this is extender 2013, if I look at my window, I can add anything from this main window, but I cannot add anything that might be in the scrolling grid. If you're on extender 10 or 2010, it would be adding a standard window. You cannot add a detail windows data, and you cannot add forms or detail forms. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for more information or the exact steps I went through today, in the extender 2013 manual that is found online with the downloads, there is actually a section um, about adding data to a report writer report. In this is the standard manual, it's actually section 14, it's a little bit different section in the enterprise manual, but the steps are exactly the same. So if you need more information, be sure to take a look at that section. Thank you for joining us today.